Lance Lewis is world kickboxing champion. Lance, tell me about how you first got involved in martial arts. I got involved in martial arts simply by, in a kind of way, a mistake really. I just happened to walk into a karate dojo one day back in 1974. Roy Stan Alps, Sugar Kai Karate Club. Yeah, and I happy thought, Roy. What the hell is this? I thought, I've got to have some of this. And so I joined it. <laughs> really? But it, it wasn't long before starting, you was actually beating the world champion at kickboxing, weren't you? Was you 16 or something? Yeah, well, what happened was, at the age of 15, I moved to full contact karate competition. And I got to the British championships. I then actually won the British title at the age of 16. I was always fighting adults. And then at 17, I beat the then world champion. Yeah, and that's then I actually, where else was there to go? So I branched off into boxing for a while, yeah. yeah? And I came back into the martial arts stroke full contact karate, which then became known then as kickboxing. Yeah, so it's been quite some time, actually a long time. I did it from a ch as a child, really. You've always yeah. had, if you don't mind me saying, a very unique fighting style. You, I mean, you had the stereotypical kickboxers out there, was always bang, bang, bang. They seem very one-dimensional, whereas you seem to be very fluid in what you do. How do you feel this style of fighting came about? What made you so different to everybody else? That became about because of the people who was, I was around, the people who coached me and taught me, yeah? First is the martial artists, people like Danny Connors, yeah? John Smith, you had um, people like Master Sken, Toddy Woody, as around people who were actually very, very open-minded and wide in their vision and very wide in their experiences. So they helped sort of lay a ground foundation for my kind of fighting style, which was very varied and open, yeah? So rather than being, I say, a one-dimensional fighter, I actually was trained and coached well into being like a three-dimensional fighter. Mm. I had many levels and many variations, but also my boxing coach, as well as all of those martial artists, taught me that fighting was not just about being very physical and being offensive. I was taught that fighting is an art yes. and it is also a defensive art as well as an offensive art. So I had to be proficient in all levels, yeah? So I spent a lot of time in training on my defensive ability. Yes. Yeah? So not being there, moving, slipping, blo um, blocking, parrying, yeah? Also outthinking my opponent. Yes. So you see, I was trained in all levels of defense as well as offense. So that's why people say, well, how come you're so versatile? Well, I was trained that way. Yes. So that I could fight anyone and everybody. How did you, watching you fight, I noticed that you always used to use your legs along with your hands. It wasn't like, oh, I'm kicking and then, oh, I'm punching. It was kicking and punching together simultaneously. How did you develop that style of fighting? That happened naturally. It just happened through the course of my training and fighting. It was right, well, if I kick someone in the head, why not when my feet leaves him, hit him at the same time? Yeah. It just happened. And then the people who were around me, my coaches, yeah, they didn't say, oh, you can't do that. They said, good, just do that again, yeah? So they helped bring anything natural along coming out of me. I mean, that just happened one day. I remember kicking somebody, and as my foot left his head, I punched him at the same time. And so the people around me said, right, that was great. OK, now let's take that further. You just carry it on. Just carry it on. They just brought whatever out naturally out of me mm. to help develop it even further. So as I said before, I had very, very good coaches, people in martial arts experience, and long fighting experience around me. And they just helped me develop. Yeah. Yeah, once, I, remember, I know that you come from a primarily a boxing background. Ah, oh, martial arts background, actually. Exactly, but you once described boxing as Wing Chun without gloves. Yes, yes. I mean. What other martial arts styles have you looked at and how have they actually helped enhance your fighting style? Right, I've looked at quite a few. I mean, for example, there's Taekwondo, yeah, and a particular way in which they kicked, yeah. So that enhanced, and particularly my hook kick, I took that specifically yeah, from Taekwondo. The hook, the hook from Taekwondo, which was a Jerry Rome, um, he was a very, yeah. very good yeah, like, heavyweight fighter, yeah. Also, so not only was it just Taekwondo, we had Muay Thai because before Master Sken, Woody and Toddy became kind of prominent, I actually, we trained together, yeah. yeah? And so they helped me develop another, gaining more power in my kicks, yeah? In actually using the whole body if I wanted to when I wanted to throw a particular kick. So I might do the lead leg fast kicking, but I might decide, right, okay, got a whack a kick in here now, yeah? But also they helped me develop a defensive strategy against Muay Thai fighters. So for example, we're the first British team to go to Holland. Now they were very, yeah. very strong Muay Thai. They like to kick the legs, don't they? They like to kick the legs and it was full Muay Thai rules when I fought. Yeah. But what happened was because I trained with them, I developed a defensive strategy. So that when I went over to Holland now, the whole of my, uh, the team got beat except for me. Because basically I knew what to do. And I had such a defense that the Muay Thai fighter over there basically couldn't really 
tag me or hold me still enough to kick my legs or use his elbows because basically I just um, countered him I didn't allow him to do what he wanted to do because I'd already developed a strategy against it yeah because of the people I was training with yeah I'm trying to be on the other particular main styles I'd say that that's Danny probably Connors, Wing Chun, Tai Chi. Yeah, that, that Wing Chun and stuff. The Tai Chi helped me more in my relaxation. Danny yes. Connors over the years helped me in how to be able to relax before fights and to relax in fights. Yes. So it's being relaxed an important thing because your little guys are so tensed up they're fighting against themselves as they're fighting, aren't they? But that's the point. Yeah, that if you're actually tensed up, you're actually fighting against yourself yeah. as well as the opponent. That's it, you're so working you're, for him, aren't you? So really? you're actually working against yourself. Yeah. Yeah, never mind your opponent. So what inevitably happens is you'll burn up twice as much energy, say, in the first round because you're so tense and yeah. so tight. And that means if you're going to want to go further and further, you're going to get tighter and more tired. Yeah. So ultimately, the battle means you're fighting yourself, not your opponent. Yeah. So Danny and through like what I'd call, like, I suppose, the Tai Chi and stuff, he taught me how to actually relax, shut off my adrenaline system so it didn't go over too much and I'd burn out. Also, I'd have thought that, um, well, through the Wing Chun, what I found with Wing Chun was, when I did some of that, was that it was exactly the same as boxing, except it didn't have gloves. Yeah. Yeah? I've it, I was so shocked when I started doing Wing Chun. And uh, it was like, well, wait a minute, this is boxing, but with no gloves. And but the thing is, people in see Western as punching, but not realise that it's very skillful, and a lot of the movements are the same as Wing Chun. Yeah, and so when I did that, it just reinforced a lot of the boxing defensive movements I'd been doing. Yeah, so it didn't even so doing more the variation of martial arts just added to my ring combat ability. Yeah, yeah, it didn't take anything away from it. It just added to it. St not staying too long on boxing. But you trained with Thomas Ernst over oh, in the right, yeah. camp in America. How did you find him as a person? I found he was actually similar to you. Yeah. <laughs> down to earth guy. Was, was he that good? He was. Yeah, <laughs> he was down to earth. He wasn't. But he just loved fighting. Yeah. It just happened that he got loads of millions when he fought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the only thing he liked doing was fishing and boxing, uh, fishing, and basketball. Yeah. So his accountant had to keep telling him off to spend his money because going fishing didn't cost him much and playing basketball didn't cost him anything. And he just kept mounting up. And just kept mounting up so his cat would tell him off to go and buy a car and buy this and buy that and oh, all right I'll go and get a car mate, all right I'll go and get a Porsche and because I've got to, yeah. So that was how the guy and also his basement in his house he turned into like a video arcade. Yeah. We saw all hang boxing out. fights. No, just a video arcade of all yeah. the video machines and games. Oh, get ya. So all his mates could go hang out there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what he used to do. He's going to play playing his in basement on his video machines. And that was great. Now, Lance, your life has been an incredible journey. Oh. I'm being serious. Yeah, and it's must far from over yet. What's the future plans for Lance Lewis? At the moment, still to be maintain being world champion. Um, when they ask me to defend the title, I'll think about it, yeah? But I'm just gonna hold on for it as long as possible because it's been a long time time to get hold of it. And for them, also, what well, I think my future is actually just helping young, young people, young children, to come on a similar journey to me, to help them overcome the difficulties that they've got in their lives and that maybe the martial arts can help them achieve what they need to achieve just as it did for me. Well, Alice, thank you very much for your time. Let's have a look at some of your techniques okay. now.